Ok. Euh, ça, Léopold. Euh, behavior a shared for all instances. Ok. I will talk about that. It's important. You have in construct2 what's called object types. When we create an object by doing a double click here, insert new object, you're not really creating only an object but an object type. An object type is, an, is a, a grouping of, uh, of many properties. If you have, and this object type has in its core, have in, in, in its core a plugin. The plugin we are using up until now is the textbox plugin, this one, the sprite plugin, this one, and for and area I didn't really uh, insist on that. Hello Dodo, uh, we didn't really insist on that, but I used the tile background plugin. These are plugins. It means uh, these ob these are objects uh, you can add some new objects to use. Anyway, the sprite plugin allows you to create object types which have a layer, an angle, an opacity, a position, a size, which have animations. That's the most important part of the sprites plugin. It allows you to have animations. If I take the text box, it doesn't have animation. It's something to write text in. But it has a position, a size. It's a plugin that has the some of the properties of the sprite, some common properties, and some new properties specific to that plugin. But you can have many object type who share the text box plugin. I can create a new text box. I have a new object type but with the same plugin. You can see it here. So it has the same properties, the same action, condition and expression you can play with. It's behave the same way but it's a new object type you can um, talk to it specifically in event and you can talk to it and you can assign behavior specific to this pro object type now you have object type an object type is kind of a, a template so you have plugins, which pl with plugins you can have many kind of object types with the same plugin. And these object types can have what we, we can we call instances. I will remove this object. Instances, very important. Here I have the object type ground. But you can see I have many ground. They all are my ground object type. It's just that there are instances of this object, which means many things. They share the same basic properties. For instance, if I remove the solid behavior from this instance, every instance, I will remove it for every instance because the behavior is one property of your object type. However, for each instance, you can change the value of the properties specific for each instance. For instance, the value you can already see now is the position. They don't have the same position. You can change the size as well. They don't necessarily have the same size. You can change the layer, you can change the angle as well, and you can change the... here you can't uh, really see it, but behavior that have property, you can change them for each instance, but you can change which behavior this instance have and which behavior this instance have. That's a really important uh, thing. 
and I hope you understand uh, the same way initial visibil visibility you can disable some object the visibility of uh, some object etc that's very very important and we'll see uh, how to use instance in event sheet probably not today unless we have time for that but uh, we will we will see that uh, in details in week 2 and week 3 for sure but if we have time we can already start uh, today <coughs> anyway as, uh, is it clear to you the difference between plugin object type and instances very important I'm waiting because of the lag. <laughs> yep, uh, JB Brown, yeah, okay. Okay, I hope uh, people who will watch the recording will understand as well. How, m how many are we today? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I can't count in English. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, uh, a checkpoint is a position we want to respawn at when we die. That's the my own definition of checkpoint. So I think everyone has more or less the same definition. So a checkpoint is a position. Okay, it means uh, it's uh, very often at the middle of the level, maybe here. So if we go past this position and we die we will go back to this position that's the principle of a checkpoint how can we what <laughs> conceptually you want to save something you want to save an information that kind of disappear at some time you want to save the information I went past the checkpoint Well, I'm uh, thinking, I, I already know how to make a checkpoint, but each time I, uh, I uh, think about the problem, I come up with new idea about how to handle checkpoint. And I think I will <laughs> do it differently now. I will do it differently. Let's see how checkpoint will model it with an object. We will represent more than model it with an object. 32 by 32. We'll uh, give it a greenish color. Here. It's our checkpoint. <coughs> I will repeat the, um, the definition. A checkpoint is a position we want to go back if we go past this position. And this position, we want to be it we want the checkpoint to be here so one thing we want to change is well we can put it like this but I prefer kind of put the position here okay that's our checkpoint so now one way we can do uh, our checkpoint system is if we die here the problem here is if we die here we restart the layout so everything will be reset reset to nothing everything will go back to uh, the state we have when we launch the game and we don't want that. We want to keep the in memory 
we want to keep in memory that we passed the, um, the checkpoints. How to do that? There's something in programming in general and in C2 as well called a variable. A variable is the brain, the brain, the memory of uh, any program. It is where you store information. When you think in your mind, oh, I want to go back here, uh, oh, I want the, the game to remember, I want the game to uh, keep something, you want more, you want most, mm, most of the time use a variable. A variable or a data structure, a data structure, but we won't talk about data structure. Variables. So we want to keep in mind that we passed the 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 checkpoints when we restart the layout. One kind of variable you have in Construct2 is a global variable. So we will create a global variable. We will give it a name, which is uh, uh, did we pass the checkpoints? So, uh, checkpoint passed. This global variable, the they can be number or text. You don't have uh, that's the type of the variable. A text means you can do something like that. You can keep uh, characters. Yeah, yeah, I think about that. Uh, yeah, checkpointed, but it's a bit weird. Oh, and the number, you can keep a number. <coughs> That's uh, what it is. For now, we will tell ourselves. Yeah. Air, uh, I will uh, slaughter your, na your nickname, but I will call you RJ. Erger, I'm totally with you with that. And it's not really easy. It will need a very, a very big change to be able to do that in C2. But I, I am, I totally agree with what you say. Sometimes you want to be in a in a text box, and oh no, I want a new variable, and you are typing my variable, uh, and I, you want it to create the variable on the on the fly. For now, it's not possible. Anyway. We have our checkpoint past variable, and we will tell to tell to ourselves zero is not past and one is past. That's something we tell to ourselves, and you'll see uh, soon that I don't like that way of uh, doing things, and uh, for some reason. But for now, we tell ourselves zero not past, one past. So when we restart the layout. We can check if we are, if our uh, x position, not x position, but x position, is greater or equal to our checkpoint. Checkpoint. Uh, oh, it calls sprite for now. I will have to rename it. We can we can check that. I will rename the. This one, checkpoint. So we can check if when we are when we are dying, we can check if we are after the checkpoint, and then we can switch our checkpoint past to one. That's uh, okay. and then restart the layout. Uh, to create a new, ah oh yeah, I didn't talk about that. This is a sub event, which means if this event is true, if this condition is true, this will be uh, executed, and then you will check the sub event. If the sub event is true, it will be executed. If this sub if this event is false, this sub event will never be even evaluated. 
to create